Hey everybody, it's a snap. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's a Saturday afternoon chat. How the heck are ya? It's almost Christmas. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. Alright. So, the Jill and Jessa special aired on the 7th, 13th. I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but we do have a clip here. Uh, it's titled, Our Brother Had Been Living a Double Life. What? Now, I don't know. I have not researched enough because I don't really care, but... Do, do these girl women even know that they were touched? Or is it just because the media says that now oh, they've been touched because their brother said so? They're probably asleep. They might have not even known. Or is it a deep secret and it's one of those things they just don't talk about? Uh, let's watch the video and see what happens. Unfortunately, I can't make it any bigger than this because it won't let me get it to go bigger. So here we go. This is our brother. I've been living a double lot. Let's cue this up. Hold it on to watch an ad. Her brother hadn't been living a double life. And um, he wasn't who he appeared to be. And um, just that there was this just reports and news that had come out um, about just his um, lifestyle and what was how he was living. Hey, there's, he's just like on Ashley Madison. We can't say he was actually participating. I was on Ashley Madison. It's only because I signed and up to see it what it was about. That we had no clue about. And it was just one of those things, just like, what? No, that's, that's not true. Like, that's not our brother. That It has to be wrong. There you go. You should get one of these when you get older. Your brother's a player. Hold on to these handles. Say, yeah. <laughs> I think when the first thing had happened, it was a long time ago, and so then I think over the years we had forgiven him, we had moved on with life, life was great, and um, he was he was one of my role models, and I did look up to him, and so it was just really hard to see that he had been making bad choices. Oh, that's him, sad. And then nobody knew about it. I'll pick out one for your present. But then to hear from my mom that, no, this is like, um, your dad has set Josh down and talked with him. And it's true. And I think just at that mo moment, it was like, I don't know, just a lot of thoughts and things going through. And, um, you know, who do you trust? Um, can you look out and, you know, see all these people and are they, you know, who they appear to be or are they just, you know, have these masks on and are... Your um, brother is a pimp. <laughs> Your brother is a pimp. So that's what's going on. Yeah, so poor Jill and Jessa. But they're moving on, though. Is there a new show? Hold on, back up here. It says full episode, a new chapter, season one, episode one. It's 70 minutes long. It's about the Duggars, or is that part? Is that, oh, that's the Jill and Jessa counting on. That's the premiere. Oh, my gosh. I got to watch that. Absolutely. All right, and then there's another TLC show, which I've been uh, turned on to. Married by Mom and Dad. Forget Tinder. Married by Mom and Dad is where it's at. At first blush, the premiere of TLC's Married by Mom and Dad might seem at the very least an old world and at most kind of creepy. After all, a lot of people might not want their parents selecting a mate for them. But when you consider everything, the reasoning is sound. Parents know their children probably better than anyone. Certainly better than coworkers, most friends, or internet dating websites. So it would follow. So it would follow that they would be best suited, to, best suited to finding their offspring a significant other, especially when have when they have said that. Yeah, especially when said offspring is neither too busy to do it themselves or has had repeated failures. So that's what this show is about. Which this is a pretty cool show. I will be watching this show. Um, hold on, I had a trailer up here, maybe.
Married by mom and dad. Here's a sneak peek, which was actually sneaked in November. Please read. It is a modern take on voluntary arranged marriages based on old school tradition and real world successes. Four singles who have been unable, blah, blah. Here we go. Let's watch the trailer. Get to death. My mom and dad are going to pick my husband. Are you okay with that? <laughs> That sounds ridiculous. Are you ready to go to the altar with that girl? As long as she's not from Ohio State. <laughs> we are here to help select John's wife. Why not have the two people that brought me into this world help me try to find what they have? I'm planning a wedding, but I don't have my groom yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> You've got like two good girls there. You, you will have to rely on us to make the final call. Excited to have the girls meet us today. Do you have outstanding breaths? Are you a shopper? What are your sexual expectations? Kind of made me feel like I was a criminal. Where'd you go to school? I went to school and I have to go to high school. I really wanted married to marry somebody with a college degree. We would like to introduce you to your wife. Will you marry me? We have found the man. Yay! You know, this is all happening so fast it's kind of overwhelming oh, oh god this is really emotionally draining for me oh you were so welcomed here this whole thing has been a game to you it, it was it was an insult to me i decided to kind of put the brakes on everything i was asked to pick a guy for you i don't have to give any reason <laughs> I hope it works. I really do. Cheers. Salute. We're about ready to go down that aisle. So did he back out or did you? You promised to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her. I bet you TLC is not in the contract that TLC will pay the lawyer fees for when they get divorced. <sighs> yeah, so that's a kind of interesting concept. This is not 90 Day Fiance. That's got the train wreck, but there might be some train wreck in that show. Absolutely. So, we'll follow up with Jill and Jessa next week to see what the heck's going on with those chicks now. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy because it's kind of TLC's way of, like, we can't get rid of the Duggars, but... We can't make Honey Boo Boo's mom mad because we got rid of them. And then you got the child toucher over here. We can't do that. And <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. But there you go. That's the pre-Thanksgiving Saturday afternoon trash TV talk. I want to thank you for watching. And thank you for watching as always. Hopefully you found this episode very interesting. And you killed some time if you were looking to kill some time. Yeah, I just had a really full lunch of ravioli and some like brown spiced ale. I think it's still kind of going through my head, so that's probably why I found this very um, interesting and exciting, and that's why I could talk. <laughs> but yeah, I want to wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll be back next Saturday, which is the day after Christmas, but it's going to be a long weekend. I'm going to be bored out of my mind, so I'm going to have something to talk about. So I will see you all then, and until then, have a great holiday week. Until next week, see ya. But please if, forgive me for disturbing you. I, it, I'm sure it was just an accident.